One of the things you need to be aware of when you're doing this work is the adjustment of your condenser if you are using phase contrast. What you're looking for is an image that looks something like this. You want good, strong phase contrast. High contrast where the image jumps out at you. Now sometimes you might be looking at an image and perhaps it looks something like this. It's somewhat washed out or there's more dimensionality to the image like this. Well that could be two things. One, it might be a microscope that is not a biomedics microscope and it's inferior optics. Some microscopes actually do have a washed out phase contrast image to their setup. Or the likelihood is if it's a biomedics microscope and you're getting an image that isn't jumping out at you that your turret condenser needs to be adjusted. Now sometimes people in the rush of doing things the actual turret itself will be slightly off-centered and that's what we did here to make it look like this. But assuming that the turret is in the right indent and it is adjusted and if we still have an image that isn't fine and high contrast then we actually have to adjust things. Now we typically would use a centering telescope this is a lens assembly that basically fits into one of the eyepiece slots. So we pull out the eyepiece and um, we simply put this in its place. With that in place, when we look into the centering telescope, we will actually use these adjusting knobs right here on either side of the condenser to adjust the phase annulus that is in the condenser here to be in alignment with the phase ring that is etched into the objective right up here. So when we press this in we actually engage a screw and turning it one way or the other will move the ring down here. Let's take a look at that. When we look into our centering telescope we are actually looking at the phase annulus and the ring that is etched on the objective itself. So the centering telescope focuses on both of these things. Right now I am moving the phase adjustment knob on one side of the turret condenser and you'll notice we're moving the phase annulus one way and the other and then when I move the other phase adjustment knob the phase annulus moves another way. The objective is to get perfect phase contrast to look into the centering telescope and to align these rings. And that's what they should look like right there. And when they look like that, we'll look at our image and we've got great phase contrast. Now if you don't have a centering telescope handy, but you're familiar with getting good phase contrast, you can actually adjust things just by your eyeball. So this is the image that you basically want. If you find that your image is off, maybe your microscope is, was at home and one of your children was playing with it and they pushed in the knobs uh, and you come and sit down one day and uh, it's all messed up. What's going on? Well, you look at your image and you simply push in one side. So you push in one adjusting screw and rotate it one way and then you rotate it the other way. And what you're wanting is to get close to where you should be. Then you go to the other side, push it in, and go one way and the other. And then what you're wanting is a nice ring around the red blood cells evenly on all, all the way around and you want that good contrast to be jumping out at you. And there we have our phase contrast simply adjusted by eyeball. Certainly the centering telescope is the best way to do it, but if you don't have one handy, you can do it by eye once you know what you're looking for. Now I'm going to show you a little technician trick. If you're out in the field and you don't have a centering telescope and somebody um, messed with your phase turret condenser and they screwed in the adjustment screws all the way and the phase annulus is way out of position, you can simply uh, first take your specimen 
off the stage and take a piece of paper and slip a piece of paper in drop the stage down so it's about a quarter inch away from the tip of the objective and then take your condenser and rotate your condenser down and as you rotate the condenser down you'll see a little black dot forming right there and we want it about the size of just a little tiny BB now once we've got that there as we push our adjustment knobs on either side that little dot actually moves one way or the other looking down the center of the tube we look right down the center and what do we see? We see a circle and the dot isn't even anywhere near the center so we take our adjustment screws push it in and start rotating our phase contrast adjustment screw do one side first then do the other side and what we want to do is we want to put the little dot right in the middle of the circle when the dot is right in the middle of the circle we basically should have perfect phase contrast adjustment so that's three methods to actually center your phase annulus with your phase ring in the objective above so you have a high quality phase contrast image so please if your image starts to fade and you don't have the the sharpness and the contrast that you've been used to simply adjust your condenser use either your centering telescope do the eyeball method or do the quick technician technique of putting the piece of paper on the stage pulling out the eyepiece and centering now please be aware and we covered this in other areas when we talked about the condenser that if the condenser is not seated properly all the way up in its holder for instance if it shifts down you might get this image that looks like this the condenser has to be seated properly in its holder under here it has to be seated all the way up the set screw tightened and then rotated all the way into position if it's not rotated up all the way in, into position you might start getting an image that looks like this keep these things in mind and you'll always have a nice consistent bright high contrast phase contrast image